Uh, uh, Zach. Oh, hey, Pat. Well, I've been thinking. You know, we talked a bunch about the BMD test for rutting and cracking. Yeah. Those tests sure take a long time. Oh, they do. I just wish there was a faster test. Uh, why? Because I like to go fast. <laughs> okay, okay, Zach, okay. Fast is a very relative term here. Oh. So, but there are a couple cracking index tests that we can run that take hours instead of days. Well, that is faster. It is, it is. So one I like to talk about is the hot IDT test. I like hot. Yeah, well, the hot IDT test is oftentimes called the high temperature indirect tensile rapid rutting test. So is that ASTM or AASHTO? Ah, good question, but neither. So there are some state DOTs that have procedures, and for the most part, they cover the AASHTO T283 indirect tensile test. But the, con the samples are conditioned at a higher temperature. Okay, that is logical because asphalt pavements are more susceptible to rutting at higher temperatures. <laughs> yeah, great, great. Okay, so what equipment do we need? Ah, good question. So first thing we need is a loading frame that is capable of supplying a load at a rate of 50 millimeters per minute and recording a peak load. So like the standard Marshall Press? Yeah, like a standard Marshall Press. But there are a lot of manufacturers that make load frames that can supply the load at that same standard. Well, that makes sense. So the specimens that we're going to use are gyratory compacted pills that are compacted at 62 millimeters height and air voids of 7%, plus or minus a half percent. So almost the same as every other performance test. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except for these specimens are going to be conditioned at 50 degrees Celsius. Now, in other environments, it may be a different temperature. For sure. So, the specimens can be either conditioned in a water bath or an environmental chamber. In a water bath, the time is about 45 to 60 minutes, and in an environmental chamber, it takes about two and a half hours. Ah, uh, makes sense. So, I've got some specimens that are conditioning in the water bath right now, and we're going to use this regular Lotman-style jig here. I like that this is using common lab equipment. Yes, it is very nice. So, let's go ahead. We're going to take a specimen from the water bath, we're going to blot it off with this towel here. I'm going to load it into the load jig. Make sure that it's centered. Center that underneath the load frame. Ooh, can I press start? Yeah, of course, of course. It's this green button right here. Man, watch it crush that specimen. Yep. Okay, so now we need to pull the peak load. According to this, the peak load is 499.7 pounds. Yep, exactly. So now on to the calculations. Sweet, calculations. Yeah, look what I got for you. Oh, thank you. So the indirect tensile formula is two times the peak load divided by pi times the thickness of the specimen in inches times the diameter of the specimen in inches. Okay, as I run that through, I get 22.1 PSI. Yeah. And so with the hot IDT, the higher the number, the more rutting resistance we get with the mixture. My, you weren't kidding when you said that this test is a lot faster than traditional rutting tests. Oh yeah, so hours instead of days, which makes this test really attractive for production style testing. So Zach, what are the high points you've learned today? Well, the high temperature indirect tensile test is a rapid rutting test that uses common asphalt lab equipment. Yep. And the specimen used is a 62 millimeter gyratory pill compacted at 7% air void and conditioned at 50 degrees Celsius. Yes. And I've also learned that the peak load is gathered from the load frame and we use mm -hmm. that value along with the dimensions of the pill mm -hmm. and calculate a value. The greater that number, the higher the rutting resistance. Exactly. Looks to me like you've got it. So there's these other replicates to run in here. What do you say we run them? Okay, race you. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, push that subscribe button. Maybe even the like button if you'd like too. Now leave us a comment. Let us know what other asphalt related training in your pocket you would like to see.